Hey guys, Rayon here. I've got another um, video tutorial for you today. What you're looking at here is a new server which I've just set up by rebuilding the databases with a new map and what you're looking at is a lot of white, a lot of snow and the reason is because the, um, the values that get inserted into the database when you run that rebuild file puts the time of the server at winter so everything is covered in snow. Now a lot of people don't like this and they prefer to have summer especially when they're trying out a new map it's, it's good to see where the rock is and the grass and so on. Um, so we can do this quite easily by going into the database and editing the server time. So first of all I'm going to quit out and I'm going to shut down the server because you can't do this while it's running so shut that down and then I'm going to use a tool which I've shown in a previous video called the SQL Browser Lite and this is what allows you to edit databases. So I've already got that installed and up and running. So this is what it looks like when you first load it up and you want to click on Open Database and then navigate to your server directory in your Steam Library. So Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common down to your dedicated server and then again as I've mentioned before you'll have a folder for all of the different servers now the one I'm running here is called Serenity Flats and in your SQLite folder these are all the databases that come with the game and the one we're interested in for this particular edit is called wormlogin.db and you see a bunch of scary looking stuff but don't worry click on the browse data tab and this table drop down shows you the various tables which are in that particular database the one we want is servers and you should have a single row here which corresponds with the server that you're running now if we scroll along quite a long way we are looking for a value called world time and there it is world time so this is the default value, um, well it's very close to it, obviously I've been running it for a few moments there. And the problem is that this particular numerical value represents some time in winter and what we want is a summertime value. Now I've got a little file here with various values, basically any number that corresponds to summer should work. So I've got the first one here, I've just collected a few just in case um, for some reason it didn't work. So we simply edit that number with a new one, click on OK, make sure you write the changes to the database and then you need to relaunch your server. So coming back into Steam, if this takes a long while to load I'll actually edit out the pauses because it was being a bit slow a few moments ago. OK, now this is a server that I've got running on another computer so don't worry about that going to manage so I can start up a new server again here's the list Serenity Flats that's the one so I'll just click on start and just drag these over doesn't want to drag okay server connected to Steam so if I refresh the list I now have new created server and hopefully when I go back into this I'm connected with the same character um, it should now load up in summertime but while that's loading what I'll say is this is al allows you to go in and edit a running server which is what you'll want to do if you've already started playing but if you're still in the process of testing out maps and you're kind of having to you know rebuild the databases, put those server files in and do this over and over as you check out new maps or ones which you're, you're building yourself. It can be quite annoying to have to go in and edit that database over and over. Okay, so this is going a little bit slow while it loads but it looks like summer. Let's give that a moment to uh, render fully. What is this weird patch? Graphical glitch I think. So as you can see, this is now summertime, which is, what is that, there we go, just a glitch, which looks a lot, of, a lot better most of the time, depending on what you're trying to do. So you can see more clearly what the different terrain types are. I'm going to close that again, but as I was, as I was saying, you can actually change the way this is done by default. Now in your 
server directory. This is the um, come back to here. This is the Serenity Flats and that SQL Lite folder again. There are a bunch of text files in here which are used by this this rebuild batch file. What it does is it takes these insert um, SQL files and uses the values in those to populate the database. So if we look at insert worm login SQL, because remember we are editing the worm login database, and we click on edit for that. Now this looks like just a whole bunch of numbers, which it is. But the one we are looking for is this is going to be a bit tricky to see. Three six seven zero zero. That is the default value for the world time which gets inserted every single time you run that particular batch file. So if you don't want to have to keep changing it, what you can do, I've got this opened up twice for some reason, is simply pick your new value, the summer time, and change this. And I've managed to do that twice. There we go, just once. So now, every time I run that batch file, so if I, I might as well show you now, so if I shut down the server, just wait for that to close, oh, that's a different one from where I created before, Ooh. oh no I've got everything clicking on the wrong things, okay I've actually managed to <laughs> close down the wrong folder here. Sorry about that. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back into here and I'm going to rebuild the database again. So this resets the whole server. So you'll see this batch file, yes, in there. This is, it loads the resources from each one of those files. I mean you could go in and edit all sorts of things and that's the important one, the worm login. Okay, come back to Steam and launch the server again. Now one thing that I did with mine, um, it's not in this folder, it's in a different one. Did I put it in there? Oh, this is a weird bug. Sometimes you get someone else's server appearing in your LAN, which is very odd. Just finding another copy of that file. Okay, here we go. The server is ready, so I'm going to start that while I look for this file. Edit. Yeah, this is the one. Um, all these values down here on the server screen you've got starting values um, the default starting values like the action sorry the skill gain multiplier is 10 you've got the combat rating modifier is 3 you've got um, the default characteristic start at 25 I believe and I don't like any of those values um, what I've done is set them to be much more like the worm online ones and let me just go back into this server now because it's launched so what I'm doing here is I'm launching that same server but it's brand new it's just been refreshed so before it was going in as winter so hopefully now I'll be creating a new character on this new server and it will still be summertime but yeah I, I edited those values so they're more like worm online so the characteristics are 19.5 and all the multipliers are simply one so there's no multipliers. I one of these weird players that actually likes the grind. Okay, so I'll create my new character. I'm going to try not to stress about the hair. Whatever it is, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> okay, that's what he'll be. And there we go, as you can see, brand new server and it's summer. So this is how you change it, either for a running server or for every server in the future. 
I hope you found that useful. Um, another tutorial I need to do is people have been asking me how to get your custom map to appear in the map screen because by default when you press on M this is what you get and of course this is all wrong and it's not helpful. So once I figure out how to do that I will do another video. So thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.